Continuing our team coverage on the cold case that shook Spokane. It took six decades to find Candy Rogers' killer. Detectives had been working with very little evidence, making it harder for them to arrest the man who did it. Technology has advanced since then, but this cold case kept hitting roadblocks until this year. New at 6, Eleni Dow explains how detectives pieced together evidence to find Candy's killer. When police found Candy's body, they preserved evidence to hopefully solve the case. A breakthrough happened in the early 2000s when forensic scientists found semen on Candy's clothes. We now know that belongs to her killer, John Ray Hoff, who was never connected to her case in the beginning. It took years of frustration, patience, and testing to name John Ray Hoff as Candy Rogers' killer. Testing DNA is complex. When it's old, it's even tougher. When DNA gets really old, it, it goes from these large, nice pieces to little tiny pieces. It's like dropping a piece of glass on the floor and it breaks into little shards. Um, but we have very sensitive tools that can pick up even the smallest shards and get information. David Middleman is the CEO of Authram, a laboratory in Texas that uses state-of-the-art testing methods to help in cold cases like this. Earlier this year, Spokane police asked them for help. The lab tested Hoff's semen that was found nearly two decades ago and put it through a genealogy database. Results showed possible matches, three Hoff brothers. John Hoff was the only one with kids, so Spokane police asked his daughter to give a sample of her DNA since Hoff killed himself years before. Police say the daughter's results showed it was 2.9 million times more likely her DNA was related to the evidence found on Candy's clothes compared to the general population. To be sure, police dug up and collected DNA samples from Hoff's body, and those results confirmed that he was the killer. When you get to these points at the end of these cases, uh, it means a lot. You see family, you see people that have worked on cases for decades, uh, you see folks that have the cases currently that work tirelessly to get them to the finish line, uh, and to have a small piece in that that was able to kind of bump these forward, it, it's very, uh, it's, you know, you can take some satisfaction at night when you go to bed. This technology Authram uses not only helps solve Candy Rogers' murder and found John Rahoff as a killer, it gives other families and police hope that other cold cases can be solved. In studio, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.